Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a type of haul that's a little bit different than what I'm used to. I went to an estate sale a couple weeks ago and not only that, I also went thrifting out in the country in a small town in Texas called Brenham. And I love to go there uh, when it comes to thrifting and uh, checking out the antiques just because First of all, going out there and taking the back roads is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and I really enjoy that. And not only that, but they have unique finds there that you definitely can't find in the city. And the prices are a lot more affordable, let's be realistic. So we'll go ahead and jump right in and share with you what I got in these last couple weeks. First of all, we'll go ahead and jump right into the estate sale. We were gonna be on our way to Brenham just to check out the one of the thrift stores out in that area that I have been enjoying that we discovered. And we saw a sign that it said estate sale. And it was literally gonna be pouring rain and that's when we were having these floods, rainstorms uh, consecutively throughout that week. And we decided to go. Thankfully we did. We ended up finding a couple things there. Not only that, but my brother-in-law is actually getting married and he was able to find a beautiful piece of china that uh, he was able to get. I mean, these were over 20, I believe 22 or 23 plates of everything. And he was able to get a great uh, deal for those. I believe those were the Claremont plates. And if I still have photos of them, I will insert them. But they're absolutely gorgeous. He got a great and awesome deal for the whole entire set from the terrine, the, the butter bowl, the serving platters, to the coffee cups with their saucers or tea cups, whatever you want to call them, the plate cups, the bread cups, the everything that you can think of. I mean, for $200, it was a great deal. And actually online, just something as simple as a coffee cup alone, sometimes I've seen them go up to $20 just for a coffee cup alone. So he got an amazing, amazing deal for those for his um, wedding and his new life with his wife. So then from there, I started looking around the estate sale and the home and he had a couple things there that I was kind of scoping out. One of the things that my, actually my daughter got it and I was, I wanted to get it. It was this, um, I believe they, they're called uh, monkey bowls, something like that. I could be wrong, but I saw this leaf bowl. He had it for 25 cents. So I thought it was super adorable that I could record this. And if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of this and how I decorated it in my home, in my built-in. So I got that piece and it's still in fairly good condition. Uh, Harley, you can't, I mean, it doesn't have any really signs of aging, so I really don't know how old it is, but it, I absolutely love it. Then I went into the kitchen area and spotted this vintage tin and I absolutely fell in love with it. I love it just the way it is with the patina and that aged look and so I decided to go ahead and get this and the funny thing was that those had prices but at the end of the sale we ended up you know kind of working certain things out so he left everything he initially said $30 but we only paid $27 for these items and then another piece that I got I found this 1920s Check this out, below dryer. This is a polar cub below dryer. It has the pink wooden handle. It is completely metal, super heavy. It has the little on and off switch right there. And not only that, take a look at the plug itself. All those wires exposed. So no, I have not attempted to turn this on to see if it works. But needless to say, he had this listed for $75 and I told him that I was not gonna go ahead and get it. But because we were working with him for that China piece for my brother-in-law and his future wife and his fiance, he was able to leave this along with everything else for $27. And then the funny thing was that we had seen this other piece that you're, I'm gonna show you right now at another store and I believe they had it priced a lot higher but he had the same one even with a stopper and it's this piece right here look at this beautiful piece now this is from what I heard my well the reason why we got it is my husband really is all into the Roman Greek type of um, artwork and all of that so he really fell in love with this um, and come to find out this is I believe from the 70s and 
This was from the Olympics back in the day, I believe, and it, ha it does have an Olympian right there. And it has the, uh, the disc right here. It has kind of like that milk glass look, but it has all these beautiful colors here. And it has hints of blues, hints of green, marbleized in the bottle itself. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we found out that I guess this used to be an alcoholic. They used to hope this used to be the bottle for some type of alcohol. I don't know. Yes. Scotch or something. I'm not completely sure. But it's, needless to say, it's absolutely gorgeous. So he left this along with everything else um, for the $27. And initially he had this set for $4, the individual sale. Then I have since fallen in love with this store in Brenham. It's called Higgins. One of the boutiques, one is more like a boutique shop. It's super adorable. And the other one looks definitely a lot more like a thrift store. So I'll go ahead and jump right in and explain to you what I got at Higgins, I believe the South Branch store, what I got there. And I like their prices to me are a lot better and more affordable than here in the Katy area. So. The prices are definitely a lot more affordable. You will find things as low as $1.68, but they also have color coordinated color of the week. And based on that, they can give you a 30, 50, and 75% off. Uh, so there's things that I can purchase with the sale price. They, they might be left for 25 cents. So definitely a lot better than what I would find here in the city. Now, jumping right along, when I do go to places like that, I do like to purchase things that are completely on sale so that I can get more bang for my buck. At least that's what I will strive for unless there's something that really attracts my attention and then I might consider something else or the pricing. But I saw this, this was listed for I believe six, 75% off and so I probably paid under a buck for it. And I love pieces like this because these are definitely a lot more in the older side. They have the mirrors on the bottom and then they have the piece of artwork on the top. And I have a different type of set that is similar to this in my closet. And if you followed one of my other videos, I believe I've even showed you um, when I was doing a clothing try-on haul there. So, or giving you some type of tour in my closet. But if anything, I'll just link the video on the play cards up top so you can take a look. But I love these because you can place these types of, you know, artwork anywhere in your home and with those mirrors, they're definitely gonna go ahead and make your space look a lot bigger and give that art, you know, a special touch to the area that you're decorating. So I really enjoy these things and for under a buck, I cannot go wrong with that. And so next, my daughter fell in love with these little things and these, I don't know if they're like crib pillows or doll pillows, but they were absolutely cute and adorable. And it's these little baby pillows. I'll call them baby pillows. They were a dollar each. So she got two of those. She's been obsessed with pillows lately. I don't know, but it's like little tiny pillows. It's, you know, it doesn't have to be like regular sleeping pillows. She's been obsessed with like little tiny pillows like this lately. So she grabbed these two and I thought these were absolutely adorable. They had that vintage look. The lace on the top is absolutely gorgeous. So these were a dollar each. So I grabbed those two. And then I saw these, this vintage blanket there and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I wanted to grab it. And I like the fact that sometimes you can find their like hand towels and things like that, maybe under a dollar as well, or 25 cents, depending, okay? So I, I have since put this in a Ziploc bag because I just do not want it to get damaged at all, just because it is absolutely gorgeous, a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I want to preserve it as much as possible. And it's this gorgeous blanket. It is a baby blanket. You could tell it is extremely old. I believe I probably paid a dollar or something with this for this as well. Yeah, a dollar eighty-five. Check that out. Beautiful blanket. You can tell it is vintage. It has all those gorgeous details. So I am definitely gonna save this for a special occasion and 
give this to someone real deserving. But in the time being, I want to make sure that it gets preserved and saved up and cared for appropriately. So that's why I'm leaving it in the Ziploc bag because you can tell it's very, very delicate. And pieces like that, I know they're going to be a lot more expensive if, if I buy it at a, spe a specified antique shop. Next, I wanted to get some, I've been seeing along Pinterest that they've been decorating their dining room tables with uh, candle, candle pillars or whatnot with some greeneries and stuff like that. So I wanted to incorporate that, but everywhere that I've gone, like Goodwill and other some of the other thrift stores, I've been seeing that their candle pillars are being, you know, the prices are going higher even in the thrift stores itself. And I did not want to spend that type of money. So when I saw these, I snatched them all. And it was these right here. Super cute, super adorable. They're all staggered in different sizes. So these all range between a buck to a dollar and some change. So I ended up getting, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them. So I ended up getting them because I thought they were beautiful. And if I go somewhere else, you know, I've seen the just something simple as this at a thrift at another thrift store between two to three dollars. These will be five. So definitely, I got a better bargain here. So I decided to grab them. I think that just laid out in the dining room table, it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. And I want to get a perfect piece where I can add it to a basket. It's gonna look beautiful. So I am really excited for that. Then, da 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 da. What else? Oh, I saw this. I saw in their in their you know housewares areas where the blankets on uh, pillowcases all of that stuff is in and I saw these cute little table mats and these are made out of like pork background it's from it's made in England the Piper Nell still fairly good condition in the back I'm not sure if I'm showing you right only paid a dollar eighty five for them they only had two but I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It has been super easy to clean and maintain, and I love that. And the scenery is just absolutely gorgeous of a little cute little church and a horse and carriage and a couple homes and some cottages and some chickens. So that country feel, so I think that's absolutely so adorable. So I got the two of them that I found at Higgins South Store. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this Higgins North store that I went to yesterday. I went there. I had never gone to the North store, which is like literally only maybe less than five minutes away from each other. So I went there just to check it out. And that store is a little bit different than the Higgins South. The Higgins North store, everything in the store from what I could tell and from what I read in their signs is $2. They also have color of the week. And depending on what the color of the week is, then they might have the item for 50% off. So you will not believe what I got for a dollar each, literally. So I ended up finding these, I believe these are lithographs and the color of this week was pink. So I saw these cute lithographs of the butterfly. This one is of the goose and this one is of the owl. So I thought these were super adorable and you can definitely tell that they are vintage. Now they are signed Brad Schnetten or Stenton and then Tom Wood for the butterfly. So I'm trying to figure out where I can put these babies up because I think they're absolutely gorgeous and I want to go ahead and display them around the house. These were again a dollar each. Then from there, let's see. Oh, I saw this. This is super cute. Adorable. Rose. I love pieces like this. Just because they give it, you know, they give it a little vintage flair, but it's still very romantic to my, I think to me, I'm just very romantic. So um, I grabbed that one and this was the color of the week as well. It was only a dollar or so. And then in the Higgins South store, I did end up finding the, this basket that I forgot to show you. Uh, this one was 60% off as well. So maybe under a dollar if that. And it's super sturdy. I love the handles on it. So love this and I'm get, definitely getting a lot more baskets because there's so many different things that I want to go ahead and do with baskets that I am just collecting different pieces and lately the 
thrift stores in my area haven't had a good selection of baskets lately. I'm not sure why, but you know, I refuse to pay a lot more than what I know I want to pay for the baskets. So I am just holding off. And if I do find a basket that I like, I'll grab it if it's under the price that I'm okay with. And if not, I'm just okay with that too. I'll just continue to collect my baskets until I'm ready to do what I need to get done with my baskets. I want to do, do a wall basket um, with a different type of touch. So I know it might probably be, be late on the on the bandwagon and the trend, whatever, all about of what I'm feeling at that moment. So if I want to do a wool basket after the trend is over and gone, I don't care. And under dollar, so can't beat that. Then I saw these cute, they're pillowcases. I mentioned to you guys in a other video that I've been into vintage inspired pillowcases. I like my bed sheets in my bedroom to be white. Now I don't mind changing up my pillowcases to have a simple and subtle touch of color and that's what I normally do. So I saw this type of pillowcase with all these flowers on them and I thought it was perfect for summertime coming along now. And now that we're still in spring, it's still kind of wet because I just washed it. But then when I looked inside to see what kind of brand it is, it is a JC Penny pillowcase. It has that vintage JC Penny logo on it, but it's absolutely beautiful in good condition. Pillowcases, you can definitely find a set for standard pillows only for $1.85. Honestly, $1.85 for two pillowcases, the set. I can't go wrong with that. And a lot of times, realistically, that vintage fabric is a lot softer and a lot more airier than the new ones that they sell out in the stores. I personally enjoy them a lot more, so I really like that. I also have been enjoying a lot of their hand towels that they do have and carry over at Higgins. And I saw this one, super beautiful, and I did wash it. I might have to just kind of treat it a little more just so that I can get get it a little bit more whiter. So hopefully, if there is any stains from before, hopefully I can lift those off once I'm, I'm done treating it. But these are 25 cents. And I love these because I love to, you know, I, and the last tutorial that I did was one of those towel holders. So I love to display these and my little wooden towel ladders and make them look cute. You know, and 25 cents, you can't go wrong. No, Higgins North Store. And I could not believe the amount of household vintage plates that you can see in that store. And the price of it, you're gonna drop down. The first person I thought was Paloma because I know she's she loves her vintage plates and dinnerware. So I ended up grabbing these right here. These are semi vitreous These are the Edwin M. Knowles China. Look at how beautiful these are. And you're never gonna guess how much I paid for these. These are three for a dollar. Three for a dollar. So I saw these and I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. They're, you know, you can tell they're old. That's fine, I'm not too worried about that. So I ended up finding two of them, so a total of six plates. So I only paid $2 for this bulk of plates. Can't go wrong with that. Not only that, but you see the Corel plates over there. I had only had one plate that I had paid 75 cents for. They had the three. So I snatched those two for, hopefully you can see those up there displayed in my hutch back there. So what I have done is um, one of my first couple videos, I had this box here and it's like, it could be like a hat box, I don't know, that I had, that I had thrifted a while ago from Pennywise, but my plates fit perfectly in here. That way they are protected and kept clean whenever they're not in use. And if I have a dinner party or I have holidays coming over that I wanna use those specific plates, I could just pull them out here and I know they're not gonna get damaged. They're gonna be taken care of a lot better than if they're just tucked away in somewhere else. So I feel good that you know this came into good use and that box. and. Honestly, I was considering even getting rid of that box, but I'm glad that I had that hat, that vintage looking style box to just hold my plates, if that makes any sense. 
So that is all that I got from the estate sale and my country thrifting over at Higgins North and South store. I hope you enjoyed this. If you saw anything that caught your eye, leave me in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite piece was. Maybe when I go back over to Higgins in Brenham, I think I'm going to be heading out there a lot more often, maybe once every other week or once every three weeks. It is almost an hour away from my home, but that is okay. I prefer to get that little countryside drive on a weekend. Honestly, I know that Goodwill has been changing their price structures and they are raising their prices. So in my situation, I don't mind doing the drive so that I can get a better deal. But if you enjoy this type of video and these types of hauls, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you are enjoying this content and give me a thumbs up if you are wanting to see a shop with me at the Higgins store so that you can see what I am specifically talking about. Because when you find these little gold mines, you really have to appreciate them and not only appreciate them, but take advantage and gather these treasures and give them a new home. So I hope this is something that inspires you. And if that is the case, please feel free to subscribe, leave me a comment below, share the video, let me know that you are interested. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of my new subscribers and even the subscribers that I have been getting to meet while I'm out and about thrifting as well. I've met Teresa. Um, I know I've had other subscribers and subbies that have been leaving me messages and I truly appreciate all of you and I love talking to you guys and putting faces to names of people who are following me in this journey. So that really makes me makes my day. And I will see you guys in the next video. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.